This video will explain to you how the copper washer is wired in, how the pressure sensor operates, and how the copper washer communicates with the burglar alarm system. First, the copper washer monitors the line and load voltage inside the AC safety disconnect, which is this component right here. Copper washer comes with pigtails, so it makes it for an easy connection to the line and load voltage inside this device. Copper washer conveniently bolts to the side of the AC disconnect and the pigtails that come with the copper washer tie into uh, the line voltage terminal points here and the load voltage terminal points here. As you can see we have our two LEDs lit that means that the copper washer is installed and it's monitoring the, both the line and the load voltage as well as the refrigerant. This is the tamper switch. The tamper switch protects the copper watcher from being tampered with once it's installed and in operation. If someone were to try and remove the cover from the copper watcher, this switch would activate and trigger the existing burglar alarm system. This LED light is, is indicating that the line voltage is present. This LED light is indicating that the load voltage is present. If we were to turn off the power by pulling this disconnect, this light would go out and your alarm system would be activated. In the event that a circuit breaker were to trip, both lights would be out, the copper watcher automatically switches to fail safe mode, and only the pressure sensor is monitoring the equipment and reporting back to the alarm system. And therefore, we've added a feature to the CW3 that is called a supervisory point. What the supervisory point does, it reports back to the burglar alarm system that the breaker is tripped and the monitoring company, if asked to do so, will alert the building owner or the homeowner that the power to their air conditioner has failed. Now if a thief were to come up and try and steal the equipment during a power failure, uh, obviously the voltage sensors are out of the equation, the pressure sensor is still in the loop. So in that mode, then the thief would have to do damage to the air conditioner in order for the copper watcher to uh, go into alarm. And what you would have to do is cut the refrigerant line. This is the refrigerant line if you were to see it in the unit itself. So once the thief wired to cut the refrigerant line, the, the, motion, uh, the pressure sensor would pick that up and your alarm system would be activated. During failsafe mode, like I mentioned, the copper watcher is in, in its most vulnerable state and that's why we've elected to install this point as a supervisory so that you could be alerted of that condition. At that point you can make a decision on simply resetting the breaker or if it's a maintenance issue call for service. Now I'm going to pull the disconnect you can see now that the bottom light bottom LED light has gone out. If it was hooked into a burglar alarm system would now be activated and your sirens and horns would be going off and the, the um, monitoring company would be called and the police would be dispatched. I'm going to plug this back in now. Now we're back online. Copper Watcher model CW3 can monitor all air conditioning equipment from 208 to 230 and from 460 to 480 volts single or three phase. It automatically knows what voltage you're inputting to it and simply adjusts to that voltage. Copper Watcher has the technology to continue to monitor your equipment during a brownout condition and a brief momentary power failure. The copper watcher pressure sensor is connected to the liquid line service port of your air conditioning system by the use of a swivel T fitting which is provided in our install kit. Now the, the main reason why the copper watcher connects to the liquid line and not the suction line is that there are conditions um, that the pressure on the suction side could fall below the set points of the pressure sensor and cause a false alarm. There's, on the liquid line, there's, there's not a condition that would cause a false alarm. Pressure is always available. When you tie the pressure sensor into the copper watcher, you're using terminal points P1, P2, and P3. P1 is the red wire, P2 will be the green wire, and P3 will be the black wire. When the alarm company wires to the copper watcher, they would connect to terminal points A1 and A2. Now on terminal points A1 and A2, 
it is called a closed loop back to the alarm panel and it has a 1K end of line resistor supervising the exposed wires of the connection. The importance of that is if a thief were to come up and twist any of the two exposed wires together, the alarm system would be activated. This in comparison with any other system on the market, if you twist the two wires together, it actually bypasses the alarm system and a thief can steal the equipment. So the feature that's built into our pressure sensor includes um, the 1K end of line resistor that enables the alarm company to monitor all those wires. If a thief were to cut the wires in two here or anywhere in the system, it would also activate the alarm system. Now the supervisory points, like I mentioned, they're monitoring the circuit breaker, which is this LED here. The alarm company would connect a pair of wires to terminals T1 and then either T2 or T3, depending on the configuration they want back to their panel. T1 to T2 is a normally closed loop, and T1 to T3 would be a normally open loop. So the options are endless on reporting back to that panel. Another feature built into the CW3 is the space available for wireless transmitters to report back to the alarm system if hardwire is not available. In the event of a wireless transmitter, this space right here is available. The alarm company would simply install their wireless transmitters, one or two, and hardwire them back into the terminal points A1 and A2 and T1, T2, or T3. Again, A1 and A2 is the alarm, so that when someone turns off the power, it activates the alarm system. And then T1, 2, and 3 is a supervisory that if the circuit breaker fails to the air conditioning system, you will get your courtesy call and alert you of that situation. The Copper Watcher system is in a NEMA 4 enclosure, and the NEMA 4 enclosure is made of Lexan. It's extremely durable for all weather conditions and can take uh, a substantial amount of abuse if someone were to come in and uh, try and vandalize it. Copper Watcher comes with a one-year full warranty. If any component provided by Copper Watcher fails, simply return the Copper Watcher to us. We'll examine it, and once the examination and testing is complete, we will send you back a new Copper Watcher.